Heaven created the mountains and rivers, and the Han established fortresses and walls. These all aim to divide the interior from that which is alien, says a Chinese quote from the second century. Today, the farmers in the north build walls around their houses in the same way their ancestors 2,000 years ago once built the long wall at the border. First, they fill clay into a mold made of wooden boards. Then they flatten the clay with rams. It's heavy, slow work, but with enough manpower, the wall rises meter by meter. straw is laid on the compressed clay to stabilize it before the next layer of clay is piled on top, just as they used to do it, only on a smaller scale. Yang 江玉,整个的江玉。天子居中治理这个城,同时治理天下。Today, no one knows how many people were recruited for the construction of the wall. Many of them were soldiers, others were forced laborers, condemned to years of work on the wall, often for tiny misdemeanors. Still others were landless peasants, sent to the empire's largest construction site from all parts of the country. For royal officials, they were just beads on an abacus. We know, because we have later dynasties' calculations. If one soldier can build three paces of wall in one month, then 300 men can build one and a half kilometers. 3,000 men can build 15 kilometers. So that 500 kilometers would take 100,000 men one month to complete. But how can thousands of people be supported in a region where there is nothing but dust and stones? Just 13 kilometers to the east of the Jade Gate, the walls of a giant granary rise in the desert. Huge amounts of grain were brought here from the fertile regions of the empire. This supply camp first saw to the needs of the construction gangs and later the garrisons of border troops stationed here in their thousands. But supply lines like this are expensive. The emperor's officials soon found a better policy. No one knows the names of the people who had to carry it out. Perhaps this man was one of them. We'll call him Zheng Bao. Like thousands of others, he became a member of a new class, that of soldier farmers, landless peasants inducted into the army. To cut costs, their families were recruited with them, and then they were left to look after themselves. By colonizing this unpromising soil, 
the entire region was to be absorbed into the Chinese Empire. There are still towns and villages in the region that were first colonized by soldier farmers like Zhen Bao. Few of the settlers willingly stayed in this no man's land. Soldiers kept watch for families attempting to flee north to the barbarians. Zheng Bao and his fellow villagers were not the only victims of Emperor Wu Di's expansionary policy. Two million people were relocated into the new border regions. Those opposed to the wall's construction had warned of the high costs of such a gigantic project. We don't know if they included the price paid by the emperor's subjects, but we learn of their suffering in poems and lamentations. With hoarse, desperate cries, we build the wall. The moon and the Milky Way seem low next to it. If we didn't remove the bleached bones of the dead, they would reach up to the very top of the wall. One knows how many died building the wall. Every meter cost one life. That's the legend. There's no proof, because today we can only guess exactly where the wall ran. And hardly anyone can say for sure how long the Han Wall was. Three hundred kilometers north of Beijing, close to the borders of the autonomous province of Inner Mongolia. By the 16th century, this mountainous area near the capital will be one of the best defended border regions the world has ever seen. But remains of the Han Wall can be found here too. The Jade Gate at the far end of the Han Wall lies two and a half thousand kilometers to the west of here. In the 1980s, Dun Yahui walked the entire length of the Han Dynasty Wall. His discoveries relaunched the interest in the Han Wall and its scale. These are the best preserved remains of the 2,000 year old wall. Our image of a single Chinese Great Wall belongs firmly in the realms of myth and legend. Hanachang 八大岭长城那样专气住的很雄伟的长城呢